Bihar, the Election Commission of India finally has taken cognizance of uh, the Prime Minister's Mangal Sutra remark. Remember, the Congress had, uh, had gone knocking on the doors of the Election Commission. In fact, uh, the Election Commission has taken cognizance of both the BJP as well as the Congress complaints. Now, what the BJP had alleged is that Rahul Gandhi was a serial offender and that he had also made divisive remarks. But it was the Prime Minister's Mangal Sutra remarks that had really triggered a lot of outrage and the election commission now seeking a response from both the leaders by 11 a.m. on the 29th of April. Remember, earlier the election commission had declined to comment on this issue. Sunil Prabhu is now joining us live. So, Sunil sir, finally, the election commission taking cognizance. This was a big test of neutrality for the election commission uh, because there was a lot of outrage over the prime minister's remark and now the election commission taking cognizance of it. Well, you have to uh, read, for those who are close watchers of the Election Commission, please read between the lines. This is really nothing at all. Uh, they had, this was, of course, was a test case of neutrality. What have they done? They have refused to issue a show cause notice, uh, be it uh, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi or Rahul Gandhi or Mr. Karge. What they have done is issued a notice for representation, forwarding it and asking them to reply to it. Uh, what does that mean? A blatant hate speech by the Prime Minister... Uh, which has now come under scrutiny, which is a violation of the model code of conduct. They fi fundamentally find that uh, correct, but they haven't. And I repeat, they haven't sent a show cause notice to the prime minister to respond to his remarks. Instead, they've sent it to the BJP president, Mr. J.P. Nadda, to respond. In the same manner, they have done the same thing for Mr. Rahul Gandhi as well as Mr. Karge. Uh, we're asking them to respond in the same manner, to try to say that they are even... And both sides, and this is the reason for why uh, they have uh, tried uh, to be on an even keel, uh, sending both uh, the BJP and the Congress. But this, of course, for keen observers of the Election Commission will explain to you that this really means that they haven't uh, really uh, found the person who has been speaking, and in this case, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, violative of the model code of conduct. Otherwise, they would have issued him a show cause notice too. Uh, to respond. Uh, as you're well aware, in 2019, uh, when the comment, uh, when the election commission was divided, uh, Mr. Ashok Lavasa on the uh, question of going uh, public uh, uh, and uh, going uh, to uh, on air uh, through using the Namo app, uh, uh, you know, for a broadcast, at that time there was a dissenting view. Mr. Ashok Lavasa, he paid uh, through the and had to finally resign. His family had ED cases and he had to ship to ADB. It's in the same context now that the Election Commission uh, has uh, tried to uh, understand uh, the implications of issuing a show cause notice against somebody who is violated while you find the party and asking them to explain and advising their campaigners to do so and to be careful. They have really uh, not taken any action against Prime Minister Narendra Modi or for that Mr. Uh, matter, uh, the divisive remarks that have been made by the BJP against Rahul Gandhi as well as uh, Mr. Karge. Uh, through that memorandum that was submitted uh, by the BJP. So please uh, look at it in that perspective. Also understand that people like Randeep Singh Surjewala were banned for 48 hours uh, for what was remarks against, uh, you know, and uh, lowering the dignity of women. Uh, Supriya Srinete too was sent uh, and an advisory was sent to Mr. Karge. Right. Uh, so it's in this context that this entire uh, thing needs to be put in perspective.